Eh bien, salut à tous et à toutes les amis, c'est Captain Spidey. Comment allez-vous En tout cas, eh bien moi, ça va super bien. Alors aujourd'hui, on se retrouve pour une nouvelle vidéo réaction sur Gotham Knights. Alors juste avant, bah, n'hésitez pas à rejoindre le Discord qui est à la description de la vidéo si vous cherchez du monde pour parler de ce jeu puisqu'on est à euh, à peu près quelques jours, moins d'un mois de euh, la sortie de Gotham Knights puisque je vous le répète, il sort le 21 octobre 2022. Écoutez, on se met en plein pot. Alors aujourd'hui, c'est une vidéo réaction euh, publiée par Eugène, comme je disais, sur la création sur Harley Quinn, donc on va un petit peu voir euh, comment elle a été créée, et ça, je vous donnerai mon avis euh, juste après, bien sûr, comme d'habitude, vous avez l'habitude avec les vidéos réactions. Euh, écoute, en ce moment, en plein pot, euh, comment on est là On est bon, allez, c'est parti, let's go. She is coming not from a place of, oh, I gotta be zany, I'm your manic pixie, like, like she doesn't need to be the manic pixie anymore, she is kind of gotten to a point where she knows who she is, she has a very clear sense of what her identity is, and she's going to present herself in this much stronger, kind of developed supervillain way. Gotham Knight's Harley Quinn is a very interesting case study in how to adapt a beloved comic book character. Her look, her voice, and her brand of villainy are immediately recognizable, but her story and her reason to be is fundamentally altered. That came out of a general philosophy for villains that guided Warner Brothers Games Montreal throughout the design process. All of the villains that we've included in Gotham Knights were chosen for a few reasons. One, we, we knew we wanted recognizable members of the rogues gallery, but we also wanted specific villains who had an interesting relationship with Batman, where once you took Batman out of the picture, it would cause that character to question, well, what's my function now? Like in a world where I don't have my main nemesis, what do I do next? Where for the likes of Mr. Freeze, that questioning seems to have led him to, well, just commit more bombastic crime. The story behind Gotham Knights Harley is more personal and more interesting. For a start, the team chose to depict an older, wiser Harley than we've ever seen in a game before, one no longer led by other people's whims. We really did make a conscious choice of allowing her to be a slightly older version of Harley Quinn than we've seen elsewhere. That informed a lot of choices. It informed like a bunch of the performance choices that were made uh, in shooting cinematics. It informed her fighting style. It informed how she how she presents herself, how she costumes herself. As we'll see in some of the uh, middle chapters of the Harley Quinn arc, even how she presents herself to Gotham City. Oh, Crucially though, this isn't a different Harley Quinn, it's one further down her personal timeline than we're used to seeing. As Redding puts it, this Harley has been through two main acts of her story already. We are familiar with her as like the Joker's accomplice and, and girlfriend and kind of pathological love okay. interest. And we're familiar with her breaking free from that and finding herself kind of in her Suicide Squad era where she's kind of Sammy being coerced into doing the right thing or doing terrible things for good reasons, sort of anti-hero. And this is kind of coincides with the fact that she's such a fan favorite. People love this character that they kind of want to root for her. So they They kind of want to see her doing things that at least ultimately have a positive outcome, even if she does it in an insane, chaotic way. For us, we thought, well, that idea of Harley kind of branching into the into the direction of good, that's been pretty well explored in a lot of places. So we okay. thought, well, what happens if we take her the other way? What happens if Batman's absence and the kind of rise of his successors kind of inspires Harley to say, well, Why don't I why don't I finally get to have my career as a supervillain on my own? I have all sorts of ideas. I'm a brilliant psychiatrist. Like there's all sorts of crazy things that I can do, especially in Gotham City. Effectively, this Harley Quinn's superpower is self-actualization. After years spent working in the shadow of others, she's now unleashing the true Harley on Gotham. For the art team, it was a fascinating oh. process to find what this version of the character could look like, okay. as you can tell from the many different concept sketches in this video. I don't even know if it's about physically aging her up, it's more like just a mental, like a confidence that maybe she didn't have before. I mean, on the visual side, it was cool because this is a... Uh, we. We got to do a fresh take. Initially, the team simply worked from what we'd seen from Harley before. The same kind of haircut, the same kind of clothes, even having her more closely tie in with Gotham Knight's unruly freaks gang, who will ally with her at points during the game. Associate character art director Jan Lee Wu said that design was fairly far along before the team was told to oh, scrap wow. it and try something new. The criteria we were giving was to make her really fresh, new, and 
iconic. That was one of those keywords、yeah. I remember from going through that process. It was very challenging,、oh, but also it was such a exciting opportunity for us to. Go about this character because not often we can deviate that much from her iconic haircut、mm-hmm. and all that. And we were pretty much given, "Don't do that. We want something new." The result is a Harley that references the past of the character in new ways. Her boss fight costume makes use of the black and red design with diamond accents. Ça j'aime beaucoup le visage. Her original appearance in Batman the Animated Series, but pushed further with the diamond design made more prominent. Her hair and makeup have changed. Even her iconic hammer has grown up. This constant balance between the Harley we know and the Harley we'll get to know touched every part of her design, even how she fights. We had a very specific vision in mind for Harley. She's more herself than she's ever been in her imagination in our Gotham. She has taken this opportunity to say, "I am actually a bad person. This is the, the version of myself that I want to be. I want the freedom to do whatever I want to Gotham and in Gotham." When we got into designing her combat, we Loved the old. I have a big goofy hammer, but if you take that into the Gotham Knights aesthetic, it becomes a actual giant heavy block of metal that later in the boss fight has a lot of articulated sparking. Electrical equipment attached to it to make it worse. Harley's not often one for straight-up hand-to-hand combat. Indeed, her villainous plot involves providing implants to Gothamites that remove their inhibitions and allow them to live their best life, which inevitably leads them to violently attacking you when you try to stop her. Her move set is really about moving through this crowd of enemies that she attracts because she has all these devotees to just essentially to slow you down and distract you. And she constantly keeps that hammer in motion. And she's very strong. She's very powerful. She's extremely agile. And it's always about the player or players trying to get the opportunity to interrupt something Harley is doing and deal damage to her before that big hammer comes back upon you. Ultimately, like any. Gaming boss Gotham Knights Harley Quinn is first and foremost a foil for the player, designed to offer interesting wrinkles of story and gameplay. But the way the team has turned her into that foil is a wonderful way to honor the character herself. Redding points out that it's a neat reflection of what the Gotham Knights themselves are going through. These are four sidekicks being forced to grow up and take on a lead hero's mantle. Harley's doing the same for a supervillain. Where Joker was always a mirror to Batman, it seems Harley is aiming to perform the same favor for whoever. Steps up as a new Dark Knight. Redding sums it up in words that could have come from Harley's own mouth. Hell, if they want to be the new protectors of Gotham City, well, they're going to need a villain. They're going to need a nemesis, and who better to do it than me? I understand how the game is played. If you want to know more about Gotham Knights, we. Ah, mais écoutez, les amis,、euh, j'ai vraiment trouvé ça、euh, super intéressant dans la façon dont ça a été、euh, pensé, réfléchi,、euh, surtout la manière d'en fait comment ils ont. implémenter、euh, cette、euh, Harley Quinn dans Gotham Knights dans le sens où ok il n'y a plus Batman il n'y a pas le Joker comment elle va pouvoir finalement devenir entre guillemets la、euh, la plus grande antagoniste euh, de euh, Gotham Knights、euh, de par le, surtout le fait que bah voilà le fait que ce soit aussi un personnage qui est plus âgé qui a déjà un peu de vécu et、euh, ça change un petit peu de l'habitude、euh, dans la façon on a pu la voir que ce soit par les films ou pas à travers les différents Batman Arkham j'ai vraiment vraiment hâte de voir son histoire et je, et je sens que le jeu va avoir un, un certain l'or dans son écriture et ça c'est quelque chose que j'attends énormément j'ai l'impression que vraiment tous les méchants et tout même le côté histoire et a été vraiment、euh, développé dans le sens où ouais je sais pas il y a l'air d'avoir une vraiment une construction et c'est pas juste on met un boss pour dire qu'il y a un boss il y a l'air d'avoir une histoire derrière là le fait qu'aussi qu'elle、euh, que dans les combats、euh, elle puisse、euh, se mêler à la foule ou faire venir des 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 comment on appelle ça bah des、euh, des bagarreurs entre guillemets、euh, pour essayer de vous distraire non vraiment je pense que que le que ce boss là va peut-être être le plus intéressant et de voir que elle aussi finalement veut devenir la plus grande、euh, méchante entre guillemets de Gotham donc voilà je sais pas ce que vous en avez pensé vous d'ailleurs n'hésitez pas à me le dire dans les commentaires 
je serais super euh, ravi de, de vous lire euh, ouais vraiment là je, je, je bouillonne d'impatience de, de pouvoir tester le jeu j'ai vraiment envie de découvrir voilà l'histoire aussi euh, puisqu'on nous tease comme ça depuis quasiment un mois euh, plein de petites choses je pense que d'ailleurs on va commencer à arriver à avoir certaines reviews certaines autres infos puisque si je dis pas de bêtises le jeu est présent à la TGS qui a lieu ce week-end on verra bien euh, patience sera euh, la patience est une vertu comme on dit voilà bah écoutez j'espère que cette vidéo vous aura plu n'hésitez pas à me le dire dans les commentaires je vous retrouve très très vite pour une prochaine vidéo ou de prochains live d'ici là prenez soin de vous ciao ciao tout le monde bye bye